This is section 8, Go Kit. This is video 1, Go Kit part 1. In this video, we're going to look at what is Go Kit and writing a simple app in Go Kit. So, what is Go Kit? Uh, Go Kit is a microservices toolkit that provides a, a simple way to uh, write microservices. And it's also an interesting way to see a different way to organize your code in a Go application. Plus, it is fairly popular, so maybe you may have to work with some app that uses it. The first step when writing a GoKit application is defining the services. Uh, we will define a service interface that will have the methods that the um, service uses, and then an implementation of the service interface. It's on the service implementation that the business logic will reside. In this case, we'll have that in a API service. And let's look at the service code. We have the service interface. It uh, is basically a core app, the agent that we used on, on the last section. It has two methods, insert agent player and get agent by ID. And here we have the service implementation. Uh, it's agent service implementation. It has a repository, which is the MariaDB repository. All the part of the application that has to do repository and an entity is the same that we have used before, so I'm not going to include code. But let's see what happens on the on the service implementation. Uh, insert Asian player. We have the the insert Asian player, which in this case all we're going to do is just insert the Asian player into the into the repository. Uh, what's an Asian player? It's a many-to-many -many relationship between Asians and players in its own table in the database. You can look at the code for the repo. That's not what's important on this video. The other thing is we have the get agent ID, which also just calls the get agent ID. Now, since uh, on the service implementation, we will have the business logic. Generally, on an application, we will have a lot more of things happening here, but you get the idea. The next step of writing a, a GoKit application is to work with the transport layer. On the transport layer, we will have requests, responses, and endpoints. An endpoint has the following uh, signature, which is a function that takes a context and uh, an empty interface as parameter and returns an, inter an empty interface and an error. So let's, let's see all of this in the code. On the request, uh, basically we have uh, just what we will be receiving from the client. Uh, in this case, insert Asian player, as I said before, an Asian player is uh, it's an association between an agent and a player. So what we get there, what we are getting there is an agent on the end, a player ID. And then we have a get agent by the request. When we do a request for a, for a get agent by ID, we need the agent ID as, 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 a, as a parameter. Then we have the responses, which is what we will be returning to the, to the client. On the case of an insert, uh, the only thing we can uh, return is an error if there was an if there was an error. In the case of get agent by ID, we are returning uh, the agent or an error in the case there was an error on the on the quest. Now remember that an endpoint is a function uh, with this signature. So what we will have in the code is actually um, make endpoint. In this case, I'm making third play an endpoint. Uh, this takes as parameter the service that we have designed it on step one and returns an endpoint. An endpoint is uh, uh, the signature we have seen before, has the signature that we have seen uh, before. So how do we build uh, the endpoint? Well, uh, we return a, fu a function that takes a context as, as parameter and a request, which is an interface. Well, we get the request. And then when we call the service with the insert, the function on the service that deals with insert, in this case, insert agent player, and then we return the response, which we create, which can be either an error, in this case, only an error or empty, if uh, there were no errors on the service. The same thing we have on the get agent by ID. Uh, we return a function that has this following signature. Let me toggle word prep so that this is clearer. Uh, we get the request. Uh, the request comes, comes, will come from here. And we just call the, the service. If there's an error, we return the, an error. And if it's not, we just return the error empty and the value that we have 
gotten from the get agent by ID on the service. An important thing on the transport layer is to be able to decode and encode uh, both the request and the responses. For decoding requests, we use a function that takes context as parameter and an HTTP request uh, as also as parameter and returns an interface and error, an empty interface. And when we encode a response, we have a function that takes a context, an HTTP response writer, remember from the HTTP section of the course, and a response which is an empty interface and generates that. Let's look at that on, on the code. On our example, uh, we have two uh, different decoders, one for insert ancient player. In this case, uh, we are getting the, we are defining a request, which is of insert ancient player request. And what we're doing is we are deco uh, decoding the body and uh, assigning that to a request. Uh, if there is an error, we'll return an error. If not, we'll return a request. Uh, on the other example, the code get agent by a request, we're going to be getting the, the, what we need is ID of the agent. And we're getting that from, from, um, Mac Gorilla Max from the Gorilla Max router. There's not much really going on, on here other than that. We take the parameters either from the path, in this case, from Gorilla, Gorilla Max or from the body. And we encode that into the appropriate request for the for the for the function. Here we are using get agent by ID. And regarding encoding, encoding is a little more complex. Uh, we get a context, we get the response writer, and we get the response. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cast the response to the appropriate type. In this case, we're using get agent by ID, so we're casting to a get agent by ID response. If there were some problems, we send uh, 500 and we sent an error. And if there were no errors, we just marshal the, uh, the response to a, to a slice of bytes. And we write that to the response writer. So basically what we're doing here is creating the response for the response writer. Uh, actually uh, encoding the response to for the response writer. Here we have another example. In this case, we just have a we are sending, the, this is when we're inserting, in the case there were an error, there was an error, we'll return 500. We're not doing um, any other type of error handling. And in the case it was successful, we return 201, which is uh, HTTP created. And we write, write was successful. So let's put all of this together in main. Uh, remember we have defined service. Uh, which has an interface and then an implementation. We have transports, uh, which have re request responses and endpoints and methods to encode and decode the, re the responses. So let's look at what we have in main. So what do we have in, in main? We have, well, of course, our Gorilla, our Gorilla Max, which we're going to be using here to actually define the path and the handler for those paths. The first thing we do is we'll I mean, the first thing after the other stuff that you already know, but the, for, the first new thing that we're doing here is we are creating an endpoint by calling make insert Asian player end, endpoint, which basically creates uh, the endpoint uh, when getting the service as parameter. You can look at the code. Then what we are doing is we are assigning to a path in Golang the handler, which we will be creating with HTTP transport new server this is a function from GoKit. it takes the following elements first it has it takes an endpoint then it takes a decoder to decode the request and then it takes an encoder to encode the response so what we're getting here is we're using the insert punish asian player endpoint then we are adding the decode of for the request and the encode for the for the insert if we look at the other endpoint, it's exactly the same. We have here that we create the, the endpoint. We have here the the gorilla the data to gorilla max to actually what path we're actually using with the with this parameter as we have seen. You we have used this many times before, and also we create the HTTP transport new server to create a handler that takes an endpoint, a decoder, and an encoder. Other than that, we should start a server. So let's run the application. 
uh, we go to a scripts folder on the on the repo for this uh, service. Remember that it should be on a, on its own repo. Let's run set up those dot sh. Let's wait. A lot of things can need to happen. And now we can test it on Postman. There's a, well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get an agent. As we can see, we have the H, we got gotten the agent and we're going to insert a, an agent player. But it was successful. And this is what we're sending a JSON on the body of the, on the raw source of the body with this. We can see it's working. 